Hey guys, I'm Ronella Hernandez with Web3 TV and today I'm at the Cardano Summit in Dubai. Joining me here we have Kabir who is the CEO of Nunet, one of the exhibitor companies. How are you? Uh, so you just said I'm Kabir <laughs> and CEO yeah. of Nunet. I guess the question was about Nunet. So we have... No, no, how are you doing? How's it going today? Very well. I see a lot of topics about governance, which is the next or basically the current era of Cardano. Okay. And yeah, pretty exciting. So why why is that the the current phase that Cardano's in right now? What are they trying to achieve? Well, they basically decentralizing, which was the promise of blockchain as a, as a space. Yeah, in general, and everyone's in general, trying to do and, that. Yeah. Uh, it seems that Cardano ecosystem is. Well, first of all, what really excites me is that there are people who thought of it at a very fundamental level, mm -hmm. which is, I mean, governance is, is as old as human society, the problem of governance. <laughs> so you really have to dig deep in order to find something new and better. And it seems that this is this is a place. OK, and so what is the relationship between NuNet and the Cardano ecosystem? So, uh, well, so first NuNet, what we are doing, we are building uh, Global economy of decentralized computing, or what does that mean exactly? Decentralized well, computing. Decentralized computing is where you can do certain computing, I say workflows, where everybody everybody needs computing nowadays uh, without a central authority which governs all the data and all computing and all processes that are happening there. Okay, but so, what does that mean for like? An average Joe person, what, what average is computing? Average Joe, I'm not sure I can. I'm not sure I know what it is, but uh, basically it means that everybody who has certain computing capabilities, devices, which basically everybody does. A phone, a computer. Well, a phone. A tablet. Let's say, let's say. Well, or maybe something more powerful because there are also small businesses, kind of people are gaming, which have, I mean, they have pretty powerful computers. Mm -hmm. They can use it in order to sell this computing power for people who are building a well, computing certain whatever they need to compute AI algorithms IoT edge computing all kind of things where you basically there is this notion of edge computing where you you sort of spread the compute uh, work to the edges of the network rather than putting everything into one cloud or centralized clouds in, in very specific places of the world because computing uh, compute devices now are all over the place okay. we all have Quite a few of them. All right. Each. So, what is the mission behind NuNet? What are you guys trying to do? So, it's infrastructure to make that happen. And infrastructure okay. means that all the compute devices, all the let's say algorithms or whatever containers that are running on those devices, they have to communicate to each other in order to make it happen. They have to communicate securely. They have to be able to basically connect to the settlement layer to settle transactions between each other. Let's say you should be able to deploy algorithms somewhere. And that algorithm, and you should be able to pay for the compute device which runs your algorithm. Okay. So and that compute device will tell itself how much it wants. And why work with Cardano? Uh, so we are using blockchain as uh, so basically all we are kind of doing computing itself off chain, based off -chain. on the off chain, based on the current technologies of containerization, etc. and so forth, which are pretty well established. Uh, however, we need settlement layer. We need security layer and we need payment layer, transaction layer. And so we basically blockchain agnostic and we were looking at what kind of blockchains can provide us this functionality. And that is, let's say, the first choice. Well, we build, we build our prototype or MVP on, on Ethereum, on, on Solidity. But then looking further into the future, Cardano is, is, seems to be the choice. Why do you say that? Well, because because I'm kind of participating. We are participating in Cardano Well Summit, etc. <laughs> yes. So one thing that I said is it's very well thought of for the long term. Therefore, okay. since we are also thinking of long term, seems to be best aligned. Let's say another thing. I just 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 listened to Charles Austin's talk about interoperability. That basically it doesn't also uh, let's say constrain us to use other technologies right and that's so you precisely shouldn't, you what shouldn't we're limit to. yourself yep right but why is that then why do you think right now we have so many different public blockchains and people are like 
if the goal is interoperability, then why do we have so many different ones? Like, why are people focusing on just Cardano or just Ethereum? Like, I feel like there's too much tribalism at times, like Bitcoin maxis, for example. Why don't why isn't there more of this? Mm, well, improperability so from the. In principle, I, I, I also I, I don't see a problem with that. No, okay. I mean, okay. as long as we can have our own, let's say, opinion and and that opinion doesn't prevent others to do what they let's say want to do. Fine with being uh, just on Cardano, just on, 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 on Bitcoin and not accepting anything else, unless this sort of prevents others to, to do, let's say, other things like interoperability. Right. Makes sense. Okay. And um, what else going on in the industry, whether it's the market right now, uh, Bitcoin is rallying, like what else do you think is, is are you looking at? Are you interested in? Are, are you hoping to happen? I think I missed one of the words oh. of your question. Okay. What are you excited about in the industry? Like, is it the market rallying? Is there a certain trend right now that you're looking at besides what you do at NuNet? Is there anything else that you're excited about? Well, I'm excited about possibility of the technology to pretty much uh, enable society to go forward. It seems to me one of the not a lot of let's say one of the as i said not not a lot of kind of lights for the future not of, a lot of not a lot of lights uh kind of from the traditional way of, of governance mm. that i see now but this is one of them okay. and this is what I, excites me it's kind of pretty probably abs not even absent general way of thinking <laughs> yes just the future. <laughs> but that's what excites me. Okay, most. the future of blockchain. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Future oh. of governance that blockchain mm. can provide. That would be more mm. correct. Blockchain is basically a technology, a technology stack. Sure. Somebody from Amurgo said this. Okay. And then it depends how you use that technology stack, not only technology stack. Of course, the technology is important. But then all the community people who are kind of trying to build something, which comes down to pretty much philosophy. And all the conceptual stuff that is, as I said, this seems to be that uh, Cardano ecosystem has a lot of this, not exactly in place, but at least a lot of things it's getting thought there. of. It's getting there. Okay. About. All yeah. right. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Kibir. Thank Kibir. you.